Hi, I'm Jim and this is Jim's Fix-It Shop. And I've had a lot of questions on what's the easiest way to get a drive disc off the bottom of your engine on these snappers. Well, this is the engine off my Turtle. Most of them are aluminum and they've got ribs on the bottom for support. You can put a block of wood against one of them ribs and hit it with a hammer and unscrew it. Then the pulley lifts off and you can put a three-fingered wheel puller right directly on the hub and pull it off. This one is smooth on the bottom. It has no ribs. And that's because, if I can find my magnet, it's steel. They didn't put an aluminum one on this one. But I still wouldn't put a wheel puller way out on this diameter to pull this off. If you distort this any way, it's going to vibrate like crazy when you let your clutch out and you bring in the chain case and rub up against this thing. You're not going to want to do that. So Josh from Atlanta, Georgia sent me pictures and an explanation of a wheel puller he made to pull these off safely. And I have to say it is an awesome idea. I am a firm believer of passing ideas on and also giving credit where credit is due. This is not my idea. This came to me from a viewer. You can make this out of just a scrap piece of steel. Four inch long piece is plenty long. I used a longer piece because I altered his design to accommodate all my viewers that don't have a welder. He welded a nut on the bottom of this plate and it fits down inside of the drive disc. All you have to do is weld it is to keep the nut from spinning while you're tightening up the bolt that's actually going to push on the end of the crank. Now for us that don't have a welder, including me, I made this a little longer and I put three holes in it. This hole I drilled and tapped will do the same purpose if you don't have a welder. Granted, setting a nut on there and welding it is a lot simpler than trying to tap that hole. Now for us, <coughs> for us that don't have a welder or a half inch tap, which are expensive, you can just drill a half inch hole through the plate so it slides. Then you want to put the bolt in the hole and take your nut and screw it on the bolt. Now when you set that on there, it covers up the nut. So just take a couple pieces of wood, any thickness, as long as it's as thick as your wrench. Put the blocks of wood underneath the bar so you can get your wrench in here and hold that nut from turning. That's all you got to do then tighten up the bolt. We're going to use it the way he built it. We're going to put the bolt <coughs> in the nut that's welded on there. You set it on your drive disc. Now what? He's got a trick. You want to turn this or orient it so you're not covering up or up against the set screws on the disc. Then you get yourself a couple clamps and you clamp the piece of steel onto the drive disc. You get your clamp as close to the hub as you can. That will put the least amount of stress on the pulley and the drive disc. 
put one on both sides. I have already loosened my set screws, which I'll have to say were so tight I couldn't do it with an Allen wrench. <clears throat> I had to use this. It's a 3 16 Allen wrench with a 7 16 hex on the bottom. And you just put that in a socket and use a ratchet, which really broke them loose quite nicely. Now you got this bolted on. Your set screws are loose. Just tighten this, tighten the bolt down in there. And it is pulling it off. Now it's going a lot easier. Well, if I've got one that's dragging here. We got it off. Josh, <coughs> awesome idea. Very simple, extremely cheap. The most expensive part of this whole thing was the bolt. Welding it on, like I said, if you can't weld, either drill and tap a hole or just drill a hole elevate it so you can get a wrench under there and hold the nut while you're tightening the bolt. Great idea, very simple, very inexpensive. It's something we can all do. So that's it. If you guys have any questions or comments, shoot them in that description box below. Josh, thanks a lot for the for the info and the great tip and don't forget to subscribe it really does help and until next time work safe have fun and let's fix these turtles we'll talk to you soon